Hi everybody. This is a new handbag. I bought it on a day when I had said I hadn't bought a handbag in a while. It's just a really small, that's my hand there, really small black structured bag. So generally a lot of things I don't like in a handbag. It has a little green flash and you can see it's got three sort of sections. Um, and it does come with this wide long strap so you can wear it crossbody or you can wear it on over your shoulder which is what I which is how I wear it it's uh I don't know if that's going to focus everything else has been focusing or over focusing I've got the light on because the, the afternoon light is fading anyway it's David Jones uh I just bought it in a, a little it's like a haberdashery store that we have in town this bag is packed, but you can see that there is no strain on the zip at all. But I will show you what I've got in there. And as I say, it is packed. You have to organise it, this middle section especially, um, so that you can work the bag. I've been recently taking a tote to work with me anyway, so the bits that I couldn't fit in here, I've just put in a pouch in my tote. But this has um, two smaller sections and the large section there. So in the front section, I've got um, bits and bobs. So I've got my planner. I've got a pen. I've got my comb. got a glasses wipe I've got a little flushable wipe I've got my trusty mirror that is looking so battered but I love it and I love the memory of the um, the work conference that I got this we had a weekend away and it was such a fun weekend it was brilliant um, so a really battered mirror but inside it's pristine so I'll carry on using that one, despite the look of the outside. Got another glasses wipe. And the last thing in here is just a glass nail file. So I'll just show you in there. So it's got the light coloured lining and you can see a hint of the sort of signature on the lining on the outer wall of the bag. In the back, wonky camera work. I've got a little um, plastic tub. It's actually my C-Ban tub. It's got some paracetamol and some um, ibuprofen in there. And I usually have some of my stomach tablets in there as well. I just have those three because they're so different in appearance that I can tell them apart. I've got my anti-dizzy tablets, which are always good to have around if you suffer from vertigo. I've got my hearing aid batteries. I also have the C bands that came in that little um, plastic tub. There we go. So good for vertigo and the car sickness that I have, motion sickness. And the last thing in here are my prescribed anti vomit tablets, which are a definite must. So again, you've got the light lining in the back with the signature on on the outer wall and then you have the middle section now I have forgotten to take the case off of my phone and slide that in just so you can see but it does go in just down here and this as I say this section you have to have packed I've got my work keys just resting on the top there I was at work yesterday haven't left the house today so if I'd gone out I would have taken those out I don't need to carry those in the bag all the time so here I've got a little card case. I'm still using my sort of Dave Ramsey money envelope system for budgeting. So this, the money in here, the cash in here is for necessities. So I've got um, an advantage card for the shops that I get most of my necessities in. So I've got cash in there. If I had any coins, they would just slip in there. This is a little, little card case from Primark. 
I have another card case. This one here. You can see the holes, the little doohickey things come off, but that's not a problem. So this card case is money for lunches. So if I should I move my finger and that will focus. There we go. Um, if I don't take a lunch in for work uh, because I think I'm going to come home and it's chucking down with rain and I don't want to come out in the weather, I've got some cash for lunches. So notes are in the main section there and any coins just go in there. And they don't tend to fall out, actually. It's quite good. So again, this is from Primark. So I bought those two together and they're working quite well for me. Nice and thin. And the other piece that I have this side is actually a lanyard case um, holder thingy. I've shown this in another video. It had a photograph in at the time. So it's just a mermaid tail pink purple iridescent sheen. It's nice and thin. So this has my debit card in just in case I need it for an emergency. And it has some loyalty cards. I downloaded an app onto my phone and I put all my loyalty cards on my phone. So the ones that are in the case don't have either a barcode or they're just the paper stamp variety. Um, but I've taken all of my other loyalty cards out. And the last thing I have in the main section is the purse that I bought on the same day as the bag. This was £21, this was £36.50 and I got the two for £21, so mega, mega bargain. This is just a little petrol blue Pierre Cardin purse, leather purse. You've got the zip around wallet, sorry, zip around zip. And in this purse I keep only two categories of money i keep my sort of what i call my free spend so i can buy anything i like clothes handbags magazines books treats really so the cash is in there i've got one card there for a department store and i've got uh, the change in the front section you can see the signature lining there just beyond my finger and then in the front section, the same setup, you've got some card slots, you've got um, any change, signature lining, and the cash there, that's for groceries. I did fill my freezer up the other day. Um, I did a big shop and I filled it, so I don't need to do a big shop. I'm just going to have to do top, top ups for milk, vegetables, fruit, that kind of thing. So I've got plenty, even though I've only got 25 27 pounds that will last me the rest of the month easily because i haven't got to buy lots and lots of bits meal type bits in the back i've just got two gift cards in there so that's working quite well it stays nice and thin fits in the bag with the other bits also oh, i'm showing you my veering off camera there um that's not going to do up one-handedly i must get a sort of funny tripod thing for this it has to go in the bag that way it does fit in the bag that way but you can't get much else in so if it goes in that way it doesn't interfere with the zipper and you've got that space for the other bits there so this is the overview of the bag. There's a gigantic label down there. There's a slip pocket here that just has my house keys and a £10 note that I found on the pavement. So that was lucky. I always used to find money. Um, don't often anymore. That's to say, it's just got my little house keys. And there is a zipper pocket, but because I've got so much in there, you can't get to it can't get very much in there so I've just got the little label which is upside down £36.50 it says black flap over bag but it obviously isn't a flap over bag David Jones so there you go loving it it's nice and light it's nice and compact um, I don't mind that it's structured 
um, you know, just a perfect little bag, especially if you're already taking a tote out. And I can just take this off to the shop with me at lunchtime if I pop out. Um, and I know I'm not going to need all my other bits and bobs. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Sorry about all the clutter down here. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to leave a comment, please do. If you want to give a, the video a thumbs up, that would be great. And I've, as I say, I've got a couple of handbags coming in the post from Amazon, but they're coming from China, so I've got a bit of a wait. Be towards the end of the month before they arrive. I will do a video on those. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon.